so this is a question okay so what i'll do i'll first take substitute a as null to the production rules wherever a is occurring so i have two production rules wherever a is occurring so reducing this one now here please analyze, uh, see very very carefully i see there are many possibilities that uh, and the possibilities are we can say that uh, both the a's will not be null theek hai aur on any one of the a's will be null when any one of the a's will be null suppose i take this a is null so the production rule be will become this one and when i take this a as null the production rule will become this one and there is also possibility that both the a's get null so the production rule will get this one and so a will also be a a and substituting a over here we'll get simple a okay and then we are left with bb or null and c comma c okay so this is a reduced form but this is still left i still have a null production over here uh, now again taking b as null and substituting wherever b is occurring again we have uh, many possibilities suppose this is our s string s okay so i have a possibility that b is null here or b is not null so what i'll do is the, the production rules that uh, would the s derives to would become now just check it out wherever b is there so this thing okay so whenever i uh, put b as null over here what comes over here this thing when i put b uh, as null over in this production rule it accounts to this when i put b as null in this production rule it will again count to ac which we have already written so we will not write it down again when i put b null over here it will give me c so that is a new production rule so this is it and a will obviously or we will write the reduce of a and then b also i'll take as bb b or null or bb okay and c as c so if i just remove it over from here so these are my final production rules the reduced cfg so uh, see one more thing that you have to notice here is suppose suppose we have a question where the production rules are this thing s gives me uh, b gives me bb and a gives me null so now i do not need to write s gives me abc or bc because i know that this is never going to be used this is definitely going to go to null so because uh, a has no other value right a does not have any other value so s will always point to bc this has no existence because it is only null it is not any other value like a or b okay it will never point to that so if i have this kind of question this kind of question my production rules would become s giving me b c maybe uh, suppose it is small c okay and uh, b giving me b and b or a you can say okay so this will be my final this thing okay okay thank you